right. Time having arrived. I hereby call the city council for uh, March 27, 2017. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, I first want to uh, I want to thank our uh, our city clerk and, and the uh, the fine staff that works in the city clerk's office. I also want to thank each and every one of you. Um, we found out late Friday uh, that the elevator was broken at City Hall, um, and and Mr. Zioli and his staff they really worked uh, yeomans to find this location. So I want to thank you. I want to thank the people that are in attendance here tonight um, relative to the elevator being broken um, for housekeeping. Um, Put in your calendars that the next two city meetings, one will be a finance next week, the following week will be a city council meeting. We will not be at City Hall. Uh, again, we don't have a definitive time relative to when the elevator will be operational again, but, um, but I think it would be safe to say uh, that we will be remote for the next two weeks um, after tonight. And uh, next week I will not be in attendance for finance. The Dean, uh, Ward 3 Councilor Dennis Cianeri will be running finance uh, next week. And when we find the location, an email will go out to each and every one of you, and of course, Mrs. Zioli will have it on the website as well. So uh, we will give uh, all that uh, information, and it will be timely. Uh, Council Beauregard. Uh, yes, uh, if I could have a moment uh, to recognize uh, someone this evening, speaking of yeoman and, be and devotion, um, I'm asking uh, members of the library and uh, primarily an individual that was the acting director of the library for 18 months in the absence of a permanent director. And uh, if I could call him up now, uh, Keith Choquette. Um, this is unusual, I have to go around here. We want to thank Keith for doing a whole lot and uh, filling in uh, through everything uh, that, that happened in 18 months. 18 months is an awful long time to do your job and someone else's. So this is a certificate of um, official citation, be it known that the Broughton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to Keith Choquette in recognition of his dedication to the Broughton Public Library System as the acting director for 18 months. His hard work, dedication, and service to the city and our citizens is nothing short of outstanding. And be it further known that the City Council extends best wishes for continued success that this citation be duly signed by the President of the City Council and attested to and a copy thereof transmitted by the Clerk of the Council. And uh, I put this down here and I just, whoops, can't uh, thank you enough. And uh, one thing is, this is just a fraction of, I know, because a lot of people know that I'm at the library a lot and the libraries. And uh, no, this is, you cannot conceivably be imagine how much this man does. And through snowstorms, out there shoveling, <coughs> helping out, filling in for people that had surgery and, and were out for an extended length of time. And that's excluding the fact that there was no permanent director for 18 months. And we have a few people out here tonight, and I hope that they'll stay for a little while. And, uh, uh, you know, again, we can't thank you enough, Keith. So oh, thank you. Very much appreciated. Thank, thank you. Very much. Thank you, Council Beauregard. Uh, I also want to, uh, before we get into the agenda, I want to, as President, say, uh, say a couple things. I also want to thank our Legislative Council, Attorney Gil Day. Uh, he also coordinated with uh, Mr. Zioli to, to work to find a location. Uh, also, as you recall, at the finance meeting last week, I had asked uh, um, Mr. Jordan relative to certain suggested regulation changes on the Water Commission. I had asked him if they'd been vetted out by Legislative Council, and it hadn't, but Mark has looked at it, so I just want to report back that he's fine with that. And then lastly, Joe Cardinal, as you recall, from National Grid, had been asked some questions by the body. Uh, he left me a message today. I was in a meeting, so he does have the information. I just haven't connected with him. As soon as I get the information, it will be... Uh, forthcoming. Uh, and more importantly, councilors, as a council president, I just want to, uh, I want to defend this body. Uh, last Friday night at the State of the City address, uh, the mayor uh, actually called out the city council to stop acting in a partisan way, also deemed, uh, deemed us, uh, all 11 of us, obstructionists. Um, Mr. Carpenter served two terms as a school committee member and two terms thus far as the mayor. 
he should know that politics in the city of Brockton is nonpartisan. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat, Republican, or unenrolled independent. You vote the person, not the party. This isn't a state rep or a state senate. So um, I suspect his uh, speechwriter didn't do fact checking, uh, and it was very disappointing that he would do that. But the term obstructionist, uh, as someone that served on the council 12 years, I was offended by that. I think each and every one of us should be offended by that. We are the legislative body. We are elected by the citizens of the city of Brockton to represent their best interest, to be the fiscal watchdogs. If the mayor of the city of Brockton doesn't like what we do, it doesn't mean we are obstructionists. We're doing our job. Uh, we're not going to rubber stamp everything. And what I will say is if we think back to when he became mayor, obstructionists would be Bill Carpenter. He filed a lawsuit against me as the president and each and every one of the city councils to obstruct an appointment by the city council president to the Water Commission. So he should look in the mirror before he calls anybody an obstructionist. And I, I was offended, and I, I am going to speak to him, because that is not how you work in a political process system that's going to best interest the people that work here and live in the city. So on behalf of the city council, I just want to express how disappointed I was. I thought it was a decent speech. I think he took credit for things that he shouldn't have taken credit for and call out mayors by name that he shouldn't have done. But more importantly, to end his speech by finger pointing on this body is really offensive and it shouldn't be done. Uh, so I just want to express that to each and every one of you, and I'm sure you share those sentiments as well. With that being said, if we could go on. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if we could um, go on to agenda item number one, please. Acceptance of the minutes of the March 13, 2017 City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of March 20th, 2017. That too is accepted and placed on file. Report of the Ordinance Committee for its meeting of March 20th, 2017. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Director of Social Services requesting that the City Council authorize acceptance in the association of the total grant in the amount of $70,000 from Massachusetts Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Services grant the City of Brockton Mayor's Office, Massachusetts Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Services grant fund. That is accepted and placed on file, Councilors. From the Mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. An ordinance amending Article 2 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton. Article 2 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton is hereby amended by inserting the following new section. Section 2-382, Minimum Qualifications for Director of Personnel. That was referred to ordinance, and that report was favorable. Councilors, the question is on a passage to a third reading by a hand vote. All in favor? All opposed? It passes to a third reading. Uh, Councilor Barnes. Uh, yes, um, Mr. President, I was wondering if we could possibly take numbers 8 through 15 collectively. Second. Uh, motions made, properly seconded to take collectively items 8 through 15. All in favor? I'll oppose that motion carries. Madam Clerk, 8 through 15 collectively, please. The following eight appointments are to the Brockton Commission on Women's Issues. Um, appointment of Carlene DeRosier Grizzard for a one-year term, Ruth Moore for a one-year term, Lisa Duquette for a one-year term, appointment of Anne Marie Nee for a two-year term, appointment of Janice Lemieux for a two-year term. Leona Martin for a two-year term, Maria DePina Montero for a three-year term, Nicole A. Gatling for a three-year term. Those appointments were referred to finance and that report was favorable. The question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Madam Clark, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. <laughs> Barnes. Yes. Mr. Clark, please read the roll. <laughs> Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Councilors, all those appointments are hereby adopted. And again, before we get to 16 councilors, as you know, uh, Council Bonds worked very hard on this um, Women's Commission's appointee process. There are three remaining appointees that are appointed by the City Council President. Uh, I will be uh, sending a letter of communication. I'm working with the Legislative Council to draft the verbiage, but the, the three from the City Council perspective will be uh, appointed in the near future. 16, please. Appropriation of $462,200 from the Stabilization Fund to various departments. Um, that has a conditional certification. It was referred to finance, and that report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, kindly, kindly read the roll. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. 
Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Appropriation is hereby adopted, Councilors. An appropriation of fifty-nine thousand seven hundred dollars from the stabilization fund to various departments. Departments um, that has a conditional certification. It was referred to finance, and that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clark, kindly read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Appropriation is hereby adopted, Councils. Appropriation of eighty thousand dollars from the stabilization fund to library personal services other than overtime seventy nine thousand dollars and library overtime one thousand um, dollars. That has a uh, conditional certification. It was referred to finance, and that report was favorable. Councils, questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Appropriation is hereby adopted. Appropriation of three hundred twenty-nine thousand dollars, one hundred and three hundred twenty-nine thousand one hundred and ninety dollars and sixty cents from Executive Office of Public Safety and Securities FY17. Senator Charles E. Shannon Community Safety Initiative Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, fiscal year 17, Senator Charles E. Shannon Community Safety Initiative Grant Fund that was referred to finance and that report is favorable. Questions on and, uh, the match consists of in kind services only. The questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clark, kindly read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Council's appropriation is hereby adopted. Ordered that the City Council approves the changes to the Water Commission rules and regulations set forth in the February 23rd, 2017 letter for the Water Commission. Uh, that was referred to finance and that report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clark, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Orders hereby adopted, councils. Resolved to invite Mr. Joseph Cardinal of National Grid to the City Council to provide more information regarding the condition of one thirty of one hundred and thirty six manhole covers located throughout the city and if any further action will be taken to resolve this issue. Uh, that was referred to finance, and that report was favorable. Passes questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Resolve is hereby adopted. An appropriation of five hundred dollars from Spectra Energy Foundation grant to City of Brockton <laughs> Fire Department Spectra Energy Foundation grant fund. That was referred to finance, and that report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Appropriation is adopted. An appropriation of twenty-two thousand four hundred and sixty dollars from fiscal year sixteen emergency management planning grant to City of Brockton Emergency Management Agency Planning Grant Fund. Uh, that was referred to finance and that report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Appropriation is adopted, Councils. Appropriation of $2,000 from the 2016-2017 Hazardous Material Emergency Preparedness Grant to City of Brockton Emergency Management 2016-2017 to Hazardous Materials Emergency Preparedness Grant Fund. Uh, that was referred to finance and that report was favorable. Uh, no match required. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Appropriation is hereby adopted, Councils. 
An ordinance <laughs> amending Chapter 27 zoning of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton by adding Article 18, Thatcher Street, Smart Roads Overlay District. Referred to ordinance and planning. Resolved that the Mayor, Director of Planning and Economic Development, Building Inspector, and the Executive Director of the Brockton Redevelopment Authority be invited to appear before a committee of this council to review the issues relative to the condition of the two properties, city-owned parcels at 47 West Elm Street, Assessor's Map 091, Route 004, Plot 102, and Map 091, Route 005, Plot 103, West Elm Street, and the process that led to the recommendation to the City Council that the Mayor be given authority to transfer such properties to the BRA. For the Finance Committee Councils. Resolved to invite Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito to inform the City Council as to the actions the state will take on the Ganley building now in their possession due to a transaction made in a previous administration to use the property for a higher education collaborative. Constance, perhaps if the mayor didn't attack us, we could have talked to Lieutenant Governor since she was here Friday night. That's uh, referred to Finance Committee. Appropriation of the total grant in the amount of $70,000 from Massachusetts Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Services grant the City of Brockton Mayor's Office, Massachusetts Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Services Grant Fund. That's referred to Finance Committee. Um, again, Councilors, um, just for housekeeping again, we, won't, we will not be meeting in City Hall Chambers, in our chambers, for at least the next two weeks. I do also want to just make it, um, make it known that the City Clerk's Office did reach out uh, on Wednesday of last to see what the condition was with the elevator. At that time, we were told, good to go. We found out again Friday afternoon. So uh, there wasn't any fault relative to anybody in this room whatsoever. Is there any other business before? Councilor Azak. Uh, thank you, a moment of personal Absolutely, Councilor. Mm -hmm. um, I would just like to remind everybody that sure. we have, thank you. I would like to remind everybody that this Thursday, March 30th, is the first um, uh, neighborhood uh, planning meeting for Walker's Playground. So I hope to see everybody there. We have announced it on social media. We put it on, I've asked to have it put on the city website and I've announced it here at the meetings. So, but please help us uh, spread the word because I'm sure there's still people out there that, was, you know, that it's not going to get to. So if you speak to your neighbors, get everybody to um, the Raymond School this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. And uh, we're starting the planning of Walker's Playground. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Council Lally, of course. Motion of personal privilege. Of course. Yeah. Um, this upcoming Wednesday, uh, March 29th, at the Brookfield Elementary School in the library, 7 p.m., I will be having a, uh, a ward meeting. Uh, same as, or to, to echo my fellow counselor, you know, please, if you're not able to make it, uh, please spread the word and let other people know. Uh, the purpose of these meetings is to be as informative as possible to as many people as possible. So uh, the more people in the loop, the better. Thank, Thank you, you Councilor. Council Borgat. Thank you. A moment of personal Absolutely, Councilor. Uh, first of all, on a very personal note, I want to thank everyone and, and, and the, you know, so many people have offered their sympathy in the recent loss of my father and uh, been flooded with cards and, you know, very, um, you know, good wishes. And I want to thank you for that. I also want to say that um, our president here has encouraged us when we go attend various meetings to you know report on them. So last Wednesday was the parking authority meeting, and it seems that um, parking is the a very hot topic in Ward Five, and uh, there's going to be a lot of activity. The whole idea, and everyone is always welcome to these meetings. I cannot stress this enough. Come to these meetings. I realize we haven't had the best winter, and uh, it's always not so great to go out when you're home. You don't feel like dragging yourself out. But a lot of information comes out in these meetings. It's all public information on what goes on with the parking authority, and people don't realize how much revenue comes in from the meters and parking permits, etc. And of course, there's a discussion on the uh, uh, new um, proposed parking garage 
at Montello and I would say Center and Petronelli Way. So <laughs> that was discussed. Uh, we have blueprints, etc., and all this is available for individuals that want to know about this activity and other activities going on. So thank you again. Thank you, Councilor Barnes. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. A, a moment. Oh, yes, President. absolutely, Councilor. Th thank you. I just want to uh, thank the residents and thank everyone that came to the Winners End Ball on Saturday. It was well attended. We had over, uh, I think, 125 or so uh, people there. There was a great band, great food. Everybody got to dress up. And I also want to congratulate uh, John Marion and the Muses for um, putting on a very successful event and just to encourage uh, folks to get engaged a little bit more with activities like that. There'll be several more coming down the pike, uh, shaking off the winter and getting ready to get into the summer. So I just want to encourage everyone to please um, look at the uh, city calendar, social media, all forms of social media to find out what's going on in the city. There are lots of things going on. You do not have to stay home uh, and, and just um, sit and watch TV. So just um, congratulations to the committee. I had a blast. Everybody had a really good time. And, um, and thank you all for coming. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor, it's just uh, information from the President. I just want to let you know I'm meeting this Thursday morning, 8 o'clock, with Robert Jenkins from the BRA, Executive Director. He had asked to meet with me to give me an update, uh, and any information I get from him, I'll convey back to you. And I also uh, had the opportunity yesterday to go to the uh, State Transportation Building uh, to the Massachusetts Art Show. Um, there were two students from Trinity Catholic Academy. Uh, one happened to be named Grace Rose Sullivan, uh, second grade, that was selected. Um, and it was a wonderful day. There wasn't anybody from Brockton Public Schools, but we did have the, the parochial school here in Brockton that had two students. So uh, kudos to anybody and everybody that was affiliated with that. Anything else before us? This meeting is here by adjourned. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you.